Hello friends. In this video, we are going to study the different modes of the ARM processor. The ARM processor, it is a programmable processor. So we can do the programming in it. We can operate the ARM processor in various modes. So here we will study these different programming modes of the ARM processor. So let us start with our topic. The ARM processor, it is a part of the embedded system. It can be used as a processor in the embedded system because it is of very small size, okay? And this processor is a programmable processor, means we can do the programming using the instructions. We can write the program in its memory and we can use it for a particular application. So, if the programmer can do the programming in this processor, so there are different modes of operation of the processor. So this ARM processor, it supports okay and these operating modes, they decide the availability of the registers to the programmer, okay. So the registers present in the processor, how these registers can be used by the programmers in the program that is decided by the operating modes. So one thing which is decided by the processor mode is the availability of the register to the programmers. The second thing which is decided is the right to access the current program status register. In the ARM processor, there are two program status register. One is the current program status register and other is the saved program status register. Now, if we want to access the current program status register, also called the CPSR, then that is also decided by the operating modes. Okay. So these modes, they decide two things. One is the availability of the registers and second is the right to access the current program status registers okay now the modes of the arm processor these seven operating modes they are classified into two categories These two types are privileged modes and non-privileged mode. So all these seven operating modes, they are classified into two categories, privileged modes and non-privileged modes. Now what's the difference between the two? The privileged modes, they support the full read and write access to the current program status register. As I've said that the processor modes, they also decide that the CPSR, it can be accessed or not. So in the privileged modes, full read and write access of CPSR is provided okay whereas in the non-privileged modes
they provide only the read access of CPSR. Okay, only the control field in the CPSR it can be read in the non privileged mode. So that is the difference between privileged and the non privileged mode. Okay, now let's see the seven operating modes okay and uh, which modes come under the privileged category and which modes can come under the non-privileged category in the non-privileged category we are having only the one mode which is called the user mode okay and in the privileged category we are having six modes fast interrupt request interrupt request supervisor undefined and system so there are total seven modes out of them user mode is the non privileged mode and privileged modes are about fast interrupt request interrupt request supervisor undefined and system mode okay now let's study these modes in detail so first mode is the user mode As I've said that it is a non-privileged mode. Okay. Most of the tasks of the ARM processor, they are executed in this mode. Okay. Also, the access to the memory is restricted in this mode. Okay, the memory cannot be accessed in this mode. Also, the hardware devices they cannot be read directly. Okay. So in this user mode, it is a non-privileged mode. So the CPSR, we can only read the current program status register. Most of the tasks are executed in this mode and the memory access is restricted. Also, the hardware devices cannot be read directly. Now, the next mode is the fast interrupt request mode. which is also called F-R-E-Q, sorry, F-I-Q. Now, as the name suggests that this mode is related with the interrupts, okay and those interrupts which are very fast in their processing, okay. This is a privileged mode. And this mode is entered whenever a interrupt which is of the very high priority that is being given to the processor, okay? So this mode is used to handle those interrupts which are generated by the peripherals because these peripherals, they generate very fast interrupts, okay? So interrupts having the fast issues, they are being handled in this mode.
so peripherals means that the input output devices okay so those input output devices which generate very fast interrupts such types of uh, peripherals are handled in this mode now examples of these peripherals are like floppy disk okay now as it is a privileged mode so we can read and uh, write the sp sorry cp sr okay current program status register next mode is the interrupt which is called the irq okay now this is also related with the interrupts it is also a privileged mode now in the fast interrupt request mode we have studied that that mode is entered whenever any interrupt which is of very high priority that is raised now whenever a low priority interrupt is raised so the interrupt mode is entered okay and the example of these peripherals which generate these types of low priority interrupt the examples are keyboard etc okay so that is the difference between fast interrupt mode and the interrupt mode fast interrupt mode they handle the high priority interrupts and interrupt mode they handle the low priority interrupts okay and both are you going to handle the peripherals sometimes fast peripherals sometimes low uh, slow peripherals okay then next mode is the supervisor mode now supervisor mode is also a type of privileged mode okay and because it is called the supervisor mode so it is a special type of mode in this mode some additional facilities are available additional privileges are given and these additional privileges they allow the greater control to the processor okay greater control over the system is provided now this mode is entered when the processor is at rest okay and this mode will be executed until and unless the processor it enters into a software interrupt okay until and unless an interrupt given through the programs and instructions that is given to the processor so processor will remain in this mode now in this mode as i have said that additional privileges are being provided which provides greater control over the system so here we have an operating in this mode okay so an operating system kernel operates in this mode also if you want to read from an input output module then also the processor has to select the supervisor module so to read from an input output module also this supervisor mode is selected okay so this is a special mode okay in which the additional the privileges are provided and also the special functions are being performed by the processor now next mode is the
Now this mode is used to handle the undefined instructions in the processor. Okay, those instructions which are not defined. So to handle such undefined instructions, Next mode is the abort mode. Now this mode is uh, being entered whenever the processor it tries to access the memory but that access fails okay because the memory cannot be accessed directly in the ARM processor. So if an attempt has been made to access the memory and it fails then the abort mode is entered. Now these undefined and abort mode they are also the not uh, the privileged modes okay last mode is the system mode this mode is also a privileged mode but this is a special version or higher version of the user mode okay user mode was a non uh, privileged mode but system mode is a privileged mode and this is a special version of user mode we know that in the non privileged mode only the read access is provided to the cpsr no read uh, no write access is provided but in the system mode because it is a special version of user mode so here full access full read and write access is provided of the cpsr okay and this mode is present in the version 4 of the arm processor okay this is same like the user mode but there the full read and write access of the cpsr is provided okay now let us summarize all these modes of the arm processor User mode it is represented as USR. Fast interrupt it is represented as FIQ. Interrupt request it is represented as IRQ. Supervisor SVC. Abort ABT. Undefined UNDEF. And system as SY. Yes. Now if we see that which of the mode is the privileged mode or not. So user mode is the non-privileged and remaining all the modes are the privileged modes. Okay. Now if we want to select these modes then in the uh, CPSR we are having some control bits. The mode selection bits are present there. So what will be the status of those bits according to which the modes are selected. Let's see there are four bits B4, B3, B2, B1 and B0. So for user mode 10000 for fast interrupt
so that will be the status of all the uh, five bits one two three four five bits okay from b0 to b4 according to which the modes are being selected and these bits are present in the current program status registers okay we have seen that there are seven operating modes out of them one is the non-privileged mode that is user mode and the remaining six are the privileged modes we have seen that what is the function how the processor is going to function in all these modes okay the speciality of all these modes also we have seen and how these modes are used to access uh, that uh, how the registers will be available to the processor to the programmer okay so I hope that this topic arm um, processor programming mode is now clear to you. Thank you.